In the second part of his interview with Fox News host Tucker Carlson, which was broadcasted on Tuesday evening, Elon Musk shared his views on the ongoing banking crisis. Musk opined that the inflation, which is being sustained by the government's injection of funds into the economy during COVID lockdowns, is likely to intensify this year unless the Federal Reserve curbs it by reducing interest rates. During an extensive interview with Tucker Carlson, Elon Musk warned of a grave threat to the global banking system, stating that the overnight collapse of Silicon Valley Bank is a significant indicator of this danger. Musk also noted that the stimulus bills enacted during the COVID-19 lockdowns were not paid for but rather resulted in the injection of more currency into the economy. Unlike state governments or individuals, the federal government can create more money as required, a step that Musk claimed has already been taken. He predicted that the government is likely to face a debt limit later in the year, and as a result, federal checks may not be accepted. Finally, Musk noted that the age-old saying, there's no free lunch, is appropriate in this context. During the interview, Musk also expressed apprehensions regarding the real estate market, pointing out that the trend of work-from-home jobs that increased during the COVID lockdowns has led to a significant reduction in the usage of office buildings both in the US and across the world. He cautioned that the impact of this trend on the commercial real estate market is yet to be fully realized and likened it to an anvil rather than a shoe. Indicating the severity of the issue, Musk further opined that the decline in the real estate portfolio is likely to become a severe problem later in the year. Musk also expressed concerns about the housing market, predicting a drop in house prices due to high interest rates, which he believes are unsustainable for Americans. To read more on this story, please visit the link in the description to LifeSite News.